Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. A question that often comes back is Multiverse, can we see all your characters? Although at this point in time I have a lot of characters, so today we are going to take a look at my heroes on PlayStation. So let's get this party started. So obviously we'll start with my Multiverse character. Uh, this is pretty much what has become my official Multiverse look uh, as time goes by. So you guys saw this look in many many videos at this point. Uh, with the latest katana headpiece, I tried to make a sort of uh, Guardians uh, Captain Katana look. Uh, not exactly it, but sadly we need a Maple Leaf emblem and the Sinners Online. Who knows, maybe someday we'll get it. I, I love the Forge Metal Chrome material. So I had to try to make at least one armory with it. And I sort of made a sort of orange lantern using this look. So I guess you could almost see that as a, an Orange Lantern Multiverse. And as time went by, we got the official Major Force uh, chest piece, the official Major Force emblem, so I had to make a Major Force Armory. I had to. And there is my Weapon Mastery Armory. It was a no-brainer to make it a Deathstroke Armory. And last but not least, my PvP Armory which is also my Feral Lad Armory. I love this character. Uh, strangely enough, this character was already dead by the time I started reading uh, the Legion of Superior comics, but somehow, as soon as I saw this character, loved it. And next we have the Batman. Obviously, this is pretty much my uh, 89 Batman look, although I am using the Stalwart Defender chest, so it gives me an emblem that's maybe a little too big. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. I kind of prefer to use a bigger emblem, but uh, if you really want to be a bit closer to the actual Batman from 1989, uh, just use a Slim Knight chest piece with a smaller emblem. For example, for the classic look of the character, I did use the a Slim Knight chest piece with the smaller emblem. So we can create a pretty darn good version of Batman in the Sinners Online, or something closer to the Frank Miller Batman from something like uh, The Dark Knight Returns. And of course, there's also my Flying Armory. Uh, flying is very, very convenient in the Sinners Online, so having at least one armory that allows your character to fly, uh, it's a must in my book. I should probably make a video about that. We pretty much have an embarrassment of riches to recreate the Batman in the Sinners Online at this point, so I do have quite a few videos where I show how you can create the Batman in this universe online. And next we have Superman. We even got the official Superman lair in this universe online not too long ago. So at this point in time, you pretty much have everything you need to recreate your friend Superman in this universe online. And there are different versions of Superman you could create if you want to. So you can decide to create something that is closer to the new 52 version of the character. You could create Superman Prime, Superman 1 million, and more. And I kind of like to make a battle damage version of our friend Superman. So even if you decide to create Superman in this universe online, there are enough uh, Superman styles, or there are enough styles that allows you to create a Superman type character that will be different enough from all the other Superman in the game. And next we have uh, Wonder Woman. I'm still working on this character, but uh, uh, so far we can make a pretty good version of Wonder Woman in the Sinners Online. We have quite a few styles for Wonder Woman. Like some time ago we did get the gloves from the Stanley version of Wonder Woman. And we got the Wonder Girl skirt not too long ago, like the skirt with the star pattern looks awesome. And sadly, there are some legs built into the skirt as well. I wish we had a version with just the skirt, uh, maybe someday. But we do have quite a few Wonder Woman inspired styles in this universe online, like the Flashpoint Wonder Woman style. And there is also the Noble Warrior style if you want to recreate the new 52 version of Wonder Woman. And next we have The Flash. We pretty much have an embarrassment of riches to recreate The Flash. Uh, personally, I kind of like to recreate a cosmic version of The Flash, but I understand that uh, getting those materials at this point, like in the case of the cosmic material, it's pretty much impossible to get at this point. And even the Phoenix material is very expensive on the Booster Gold vendor. 
And of course, there is the original Flash, Jay Garrick. Well, we can make a pretty good version of Jay Garrick in the game. Yes, the lightning bolt is backward, but uh, within the context of this universe online, uh, you do the best you can with the styles you have. And I did mention that you should have at least one flying armory. So in the case of this character, my flying armory is Captain Marvel, also known as Shazam. So through a series of happy accident, uh, my flying armory became a Shazam armory. It did seem sacrilegious to have a great Captain Marvel chest piece in the game, and not have at least one Captain Marvel armory. And next we have Green Lantern. Uh, we pretty much have everything we need in the game to create a, a pretty awesome looking Green Lantern if we want to. And uh, we can create some of the iconic Green Lantern characters if we want to. For example, Hal Jordan, Kyle Rayner, the evil Dawnbreaker, and more. Yeah, today we are taking a look at the hero side, but on the villain side, we can create a pretty darn good looking Kyle Rayner Parallax in this universe online. And I wanted to have a Red Lantern character, and I have to admit, uh, I was a bit puzzled about which character to use. I did make a Supergirl a Red Lantern at some point, but I thought that having a Red Lantern Manhunter was a good idea. Also, I was able to justify having a Manhunter on the hero side by using the original Manhunter, Paul Kirk, from way back when. So originally Manhunter was Paul Kirk, some sort of a bounty hunter, but then they reused the Manhunter name for the evil sworn enemy of the Green Lantern Corps. But then later on they created the Mark Shaw Manhunter as a bounty hunter, and were able to pretty much weave in all the Manhunter lore together, and they were able to link it all to the evil Manhunter Corps, or something like that. And then I created the Nuclear Storm, which kind of started as a Firestorm type character, but somehow it evolved into Wildfire from the Legion of Superheroes. I wasn't able to get him to look exactly like I wanted, as sometimes with some of the materials, the colors are not quite separated the right way. So sometimes I was not able to get quite the right color, or sometimes I had to use materials that were not exactly the materials I wanted to use. I had to have at least uh, one Titan character, but also once I needed a, a character with nature power, making a Beast Boy character did seem like the obvious choice. Also, it would allow me the option to turn him into some sort of uh, beast uh, creatures using the armories, or using a whole bunch of trinkets that I have for my character. So as you can see, there's quite a few options to be able to turn your character into a whole bunch of different creatures. Of course, Beast Boy got a whole bunch of different costumes as time goes by, although some of those costumes were very close to his classic costumes, but simply with a different uh, color scheme. And of course, I had to give him a flying armory. I had to. And I had to give him an ally, his friend Cyborg. And with water power, you need the King of Atlantis. You have no choice. There is also an embarrassment of riches to create the Aquaman in the Sinners Online. Although this here doesn't exactly look like Aquaman, like there's a lot of green on the chest piece, but I kind of like it. I like it a lot. And next we have Sandwalker. It's not exactly the look I had in mind, but through a series of happy accident, I kind of like the look I came up with. And once more, you need a flying armory. You need it, yeah, you have to get one. It's so convenient to fly in this universe online that you must have a flying armory with all your characters. Also, it gives me a reason to use the hollow wings, all of those wings. And next, we have a multi master. I wanted to have a character that uses ice powers because I wanted to use uh, the ice materials. Also, I wanted at least one character on skimming, and having a nice character on skimming did seem to make a lot of sense. So I needed an ice-themed character to use the styles, but also I needed a character with ice powers. 
And next we have Doctor Fate, which pretty much started as a Doctor Strange character, but then over time it evolved into a Doctor Strange a Constantine character, then it changed into a Doctor Fate Constantine character, and before you knew it, a Doctor Fate had pretty much taken over. Although there is still a tiny remnant of uh, Constantine, like you can see here I'm still using the Constantine emblem, I guess you could almost imagine that this armory is uh, Constantine with the Doctor Fate helmet. Sort of. And next, uh, at some point I wanted to have a Red Hood character. I even made a tutorial with it up to level 30. And uh, obviously, Red Hood was a name that could not be used. But through various tweaks, I was able to come up with Red Robin Hood. And once upon a time, Jason Todd was Robin. But sadly, as time goes by, he actually became a Red Hood later on. So combining the two into Red Robin Hood, it kind of made sense to me. I tried to give him an Arkham Knight armory, and uh, failed miserably. And next uh, we have the Spectre. Ah, I love this character. Uh, we can make a pretty darn good version of the Spectre in the Sinners Online. And here I decided to give him the White Lantern uh, symbol. The reason for that is quite simple. I gave him a look uh, kind of inspired by Blackest Knight. And here I made a sort of Blackest Knight Spectre, with of course the evil Black Lantern emblem. And I gave him a Barbados Armory pretty much by accident. When we saw the first promo images for the Batman uh, Dark Metal uh, Dark Knight uh, storyline, uh, basically there was a whole bunch of characters that were pretty much a mishmash of uh, Batman with the, the, the Flash which gave us the Red Death, Batman with the Joker which gave us the Batman who laughs, and I thought that this was Batman mushed with the Spectre. As it turns out, it's actually Barbados which has nothing to do with the Spectre, as far as I know. I created a question character some time ago, but uh, this is very much still a work in progress. But uh, we'll get there slowly but surely. And next we have the Phantom. Uh, this is the character I've used uh, pretty much the first year and a half that I played the universe online. This is the character I used. Although at the time, I was using the French name for the Phantom, Le Phantom. But with the last name reclaim, I was able to get the actual Phantom name for my character. Uh, way back when the Phantom was published in black and white, and then at some point when they decided to publish the character in color, uh, for some reason in the United States they colored them purple, but in Europe they colored the character red. So basically I have my red Phantom for my DPS armory, and my purple Phantom for my troll armory. And uh, there was a series uh, called the Defenders of the Earth in the late 80s, where we had uh, the Phantom, Mandrake the Magicians, Flash Gordon, and a whole bunch of other characters. And in that series, the Phantom would call for certain powers. For example, it would go like something like, uh, by the law of the jungle, the ghost who walks wants the power of 10 tigers. But here we got the cheetah skin, and also I wanted to have a, a speedster armory for, for some reason. So I figured, in this case, the Phantom doesn't ask for the power of 10 tigers, he asks for the speed of 10 cheetahs, or something like that. And of course, I had to have a flying armory. I had to, I had no choice. Also, it allowed me to make a sort of version of the Phantom that would be sort of uh, part of Checkmate somehow. And the Phantom was published by DC Comics in the late 80s, so technically this is one of the few characters where you can pretty much recreate the original version of the character and have an official DC character as a playable character in DC Universe Online. And for mental powers, I had to use the Martian Manhunter. It was an obvious choice to use for a mental character. We can make a pretty good version of the classic Manhunter character in the game. Although we do have an official Martian Manhunter style in the game, Although I tweaked the style a little bit by using the Nabu Cape. And last but not least, my Magneto Armory. I mentioned how the first year and a half that I played the universe online, I was playing using my Phantom character. But then at some point, I had a bunch of friends who decided to try out this universe online. So I created a new character in order to be able to play with them and level up with them at the same time. So I created my Magneto first class character. So I was using mental telekinetic powers to give the illusion that I had magnetic powers. And also this is the look my character had for a long, long time. 
So my character did look as if I was just starting to play these shooters online. It looked as if I was like a level 4 character that just came off the Brainiac ship. And I was playing in the PvP open world. So very often in the PvP open world, there are some high level players that would jump on me thinking that I was a low level character, but I was actually an endgame character by then. So they would jump on me thinking that I was a level 4 character, and then I would beat the snot out of them. Ah uh, yeah, lots of fun. So there you go guys, so these are my hero characters on PlayStation. So obviously I'll make a video with my evil villains on PlayStation. And then I'll make a video about my heroes on PC and my villains on PC. We shall see.